$2,000 stimulus check deposit date, good news is on the horizon for Americans receiving SSI or SSDI benefits. As part of the latest round of federal relief efforts, the Social Security Administration has announced that eligible recipients will receive a $2,000 stimulus payment. This much-needed financial boost is expected to help many struggling with rising costs and economic instability. To qualify for the payment, individuals must be currently enrolled in either the Supplemental Security Income, SSI, or Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, program as of the end of 2024. There are no additional tests related to income or assets required. Simply being an active beneficiary of one of these programs is sufficient to receive the full $2,000 amount automatically. Those receiving benefits from both SSI and SSDI will only get one consolidated payment of $2,000. While the approval of these stimulus checks is certainly welcomed news, disability advocates and recipients have raised concerns about how the funds will be distributed. The SSA has stated that due to operational limitations, they will not be able to issue a single mass disbursement. Instead, the payments will be rolled out in staggered monthly batches from August to September 2024. Specifically, those with birthdays falling between the 1st and 10th of any month will have their $2,000 payment deposited in August. The second group with birthdays between the 11th and 20th will receive funds in September. And finally, beneficiaries born between the 21st and 31st can expect their check to arrive that same month of September. This prolonged three-month timeline has been a point of contention. While the SSA cites the need to manage high transaction volumes, advocates argue it will only prolong the financial hardship for many who are struggling to afford basic necessities on their meager monthly benefit amounts, which average just $1,624 for SSI and $1,363 for SSDI. They have been calling for the agency to expedite the rollout. Regardless of the payment schedule, recipients can rest assured that the money will be sent automatically via their existing delivery method on file with the SSA. This includes direct deposit, deposits to the Direct Express debit card, or paper checks mailed to the address listed. It is therefore critical that beneficiaries ensure their contact and banking information is up to date. The SSA has advised keeping a close eye on payment statuses and timelines over the coming months. For those who still face issues receiving their funds after the scheduled dates, options for troubleshooting include checking account statements, contacting the agency hotline, or visiting a local Social Security office in person. However, given the volume of inquiries expected, wait times for support could be lengthy. An additional concern stems from issues experienced during prior COVID-19 stimulus rollouts in 2020 and 2021. Reports at that time highlighted errors rejecting eligible claims, delays in payments, and a lack of clear communication from the SSA. While the agency aims to apply lessons learned, skepticism remains high that such a complex distribution effort involving millions of cases can be flawlessly executed. Thankfully, the SSA is working with community partners to help address these concerns and ensure even the most vulnerable recipients are supported. Nonprofit groups, service providers, and local organizations will aid in interpreting policies, documenting cases, and advocating on behalf of those with disabilities preventing independent navigation of processes. But these groups face their own challenges of limited staffing and funding to handle a potential surge in requests. While the approval of $2,000 stimulus payments provides financial relief for many SSI and SSDI beneficiaries, the prolonged rollout timeline and past issues leave room for uncertainties. Both recipients and advocates are urging the SSA to communicate transparently and resolve any issues promptly. With clear guidance and coordinated efforts between all stakeholders, it is hoped this latest round of aid can be distributed efficiently to uplift Americans facing economic hardship. Adding to the complexity is the fact that a sizable portion of SSDI beneficiaries live with documented mental, physical, or cognitive impairments that present additional barriers. Conditions like severe depression, anxiety, intellectual disabilities, or vision impairments can make navigating convoluted policies and procedures extremely challenging. For these vulnerable groups, the prospect of having to investigate payment discrepancies, gather documentation, or self-advocate with government agencies induces high levels of stress and unease. Any real or perceived issues with receiving funds they rely on could trigger worsening symptoms or crises. To help address this, 
the SSA is working to establish more user-friendly resolution methods that minimize administrative burdens. This includes streamlining contact channels, simplifying language used, and leveraging community partners for in-person assistance. Caseworkers at these organizations undergo special training to properly handle sensitive situations. However, disability advocates continue pushing for swifter action. They argue the layered obstacles already prevent many from accessing available supports, and the stimulus rollout presents yet another looming hurdle if not handled with utmost care, empathy, and urgency. Even the most well-intentioned efforts could fall short without sufficient funding, staffing levels, and ongoing accountability measures. For recipients navigating these challenges, maintaining meticulous records is also strongly advised. Things like payment notices, bank statements, correspondence with the SSA and community assistance received may become invaluable down the road should any issues emerge. Not only could it help resolve disputes more efficiently, but it also empowers individuals to self-advocate when needed. As the disbursements begin in the coming months, open communication will be paramount. The SSA pledges to provide timely status updates via their website and notifications sent directly to beneficiaries. However, given the scale and inherent complexities involved, it is reasonable to expect hiccups may still occur for some. Patience and flexibility on all sides will be needed to overcome unexpected difficulties together. With ongoing cooperation between recipients, advocates, community groups, and the SSA, it is hoped this latest stimulus effort can achieve its goal of supporting Americans who need it most during difficult economic times. The road ahead remains long, but moving in the right direction is what truly matters. As preparations for the rollout continue, there are still several unanswered questions that cause uncertainty among recipients. One major concern is whether the SSA's systems have up-to-date information for all those eligible. In the past, some individuals fell through the cracks due to outdated addresses, name changes, or other missing details. With millions of cases to verify, advocates worry simple errors could again lead to otherwise qualified beneficiaries being overlooked. This disproportionately impacts those without means to regularly submit change notifications, such as people experiencing homelessness. To avoid a repeat of prior mistakes, extra efforts must be made to proactively identify and correct any deficiencies. There is also concern about how the SSA will handle special circumstances that fall outside the standard payment process. For example, guidance has not been provided for beneficiaries who share a household or those receiving payments on behalf of a dependent child. Clarity is needed on how commingled funds will be treated to ensure all members of affected families receive their full entitlements. Logistically, it remains unclear how the SSA will distribute checks and initiate deposits across payment batches in a smooth and timely manner. Processing delays of even a few days could derail budgets for recipients living paycheck to paycheck. Though the agency promises adequate staffing and resources, Past performance indicates the complexity of dispersing billions presents considerable operational challenges. A further question is what recourse may be available if issues do arise down the line, such as with the delivery of mailed checks or deposit of direct payments.